before I start off today's video, I just want to apologize for not making a preview um about this for this game yes yesterday last night whatever um I was just asleep right it was flipping four in the morning for me I mean it says nine p.m. there but there's like a seven hour time zone gap um so that's about four or five in the morning maybe um around that time so yeah I was asleep and I just was too tired to wake up at in the, like four in the morning and just record a video right and immediately upload it um um yeah I, I i guess it's kind of my fault that i didn't record earlier but i'm gonna do so nowadays right so pretty much after i record this video i'm gonna be re-recording the game against villarreal so yeah um there was just a, a short little apologize um for it um and yeah let's get into today's reveal hey what's up guys and welcome back to another real madrid reveal Wow, what a game that was. I mean, sh sure, right? The last time we scored six goals, I believe. Don't quote me on this. Let me see. It was 6 nil against Galatasaray. Pfft, that was a long time ago, man. It was in the Champions League. Was it, was it last season? No, two seasons ago. In the Champions League. Against, no, no, it wasn't the Champions League. Was it a friendly or was it a Champions League? I don't remember. But it was against Galatasaray. Wow, that's a long time ago. That's at least a good, maybe a year or two ago, since we scored six in a game. Um, there are some very good performances. I'm gonna mention about. Um, right. So let's have a look at the goals that were scored. The seven goals. It's hard for me to explain all of them, so I might have to watch the replay again. The first goal, um, was the back line of Mallorca, my Mallorca. I guess that's how you call them, Mallorca, making. A mistake. I mean, the pass from the defender, I don't know who it was, made the mistake. Benzema intercepted the ball, one on one. Benzema doesn't miss those. Three minutes in, we kicked off the score. And then, um, in the 23rd minute, I, I guess 24, um, Rodrigo had a shot, saved for the, was it saved by the goalie? I believe it was, but it was a simple, a simple, like, save. And then Asensio with the tap in. We'll talk more about Asensio later on after we discuss all the goals. Asensio with a very nice so called tap in. And then straight away, was it Kang In Lee, I believe, if I'm not wrong? I mean, look, right? That is the blame of the defense. I mean, I don't know why Nacho wasn't marking tighter, but Alaba Kamavinga was trying to mark, you know, very tight as, and very close as much as possible. Um, Alaba even went in with a, a bit of slight tackle, but it wasn't enough. Um, so yeah, Korta couldn't have possibly saved that as well. And then, the third goal for us, is just a simple pass from Benzema. Um, not really a simple, but it just get the pass forward and Asensio was 1-1. One -on -one and he makes it 3-1 there um, as well. Here we have it, Asensio, you know... Take the touch and then the shot for his hat trick in the 55th minute outside the box um as well. If you guys don't understand the goals, just go and watch the highlights. Um I want you guys to be in spots. And then our fifth goal was a deflected shot from Benzema in the 78th minute. He just took a touch with it. the the actually hit his back, right? He took a he shot and then he was just deflected off two defenders past the goalkeeper. Um and last but not least, um, a pass for to is into Isco and Isco getting a goal. And I want to talk more about Isco and Asensio later on. But call to our first up. I've seen a lot of so called disappointment. I, I mean, I I myself am disappointed a bit in terms of the goal we considered. But I've seen a lot of disappointment on the defense and call to quite enough. Um, that we didn't keep the clean sheet and. Personally, for me, is we need to win. I think winning is the most important thing. I think the three points has to be in the back if we want to win the league. We can concede two goals, three goals, four goals, but if we score more than that, I'm fine. I'm cool with it, right? Um, Courtois, like I said before, the, the, the save was pretty hard. The ball was just impossible to stop, right? Um, I'm still going to give him a decent six. I think he did quite well. I think he did quite well, right? 
um, right back and left back with Miguel and Nacho. Um, Miguel, I mean, to be honest, right, he's just a young lad who comes who comes in, right. Um, they were asking or people were asking why didn't he play against Valencia, and that's because of experience. He is an experienced, uh, enough to play a big game and. No disrespect to Mallorca, but they aren't the biggest team in that you need. They aren't like the strongest team that you need to worry about, is it? They aren't. So personally, he can come in, right? One so-called non-experienced player out of in this team. You can you can probably say that for a few of the players like Rodrigo potentially, maybe even like Kamavinga, but they are they're experienced. They've played the big games for us. Miguel is from Real Madrid Castilla, you know. He's just like a young lad coming in to the first team. Um, I'm giving him a solid five. Um, I think he didn't do that badly as well. This is simil- this is simply because the fact that they didn't do much in terms of like Benzema's like essential scoring goals, but they didn't have a bad game either. But yeah, right. Nacho Fernandez. I think I'm gonna give a five and a half as well. I think he could have done better in that goal that we considered, but overall I think the defense was all right in terms of the um. Not in terms of, uh, apart from the goal we considered, we did quite well. Um, Militao and Alaba, the thing is, Militao, I'm going for five. I don't think he had a fantastic game. Alaba, you know, I think he tried his best to, to deny Kang and Lee from scoring, but yeah, five and a half for me personally. Um, into the midfield, we'll talk about Asensio last. Valverde and Kamavinga, oh wow. You don't expect much from Valverde Kamavinga, right? I, I don't see them being the guys who score every single game. No, I don't. Um, I think they had a solid game. I think six and a half for each of for both of them to be fair. Isn't too bad. Is it? Hmm. It isn't actually too bad, you know. Um, I don't know, man. Did Valverde had a better game or did Kamavinga? Let me know in the comment section down below. Asensio. I'm gonna give him. Nine and a half. I, as much as he scored the three goals, let's let's say he didn't score the hat trick, cancel three goals. We would have still won three one. I'm not saying I'm not discrediting, discrediting him. Wait, I'm not trying to like not give him the credit for scoring hat trick. Of course, it's a brilliant performance scoring a hat trick, but I don't think that personally that would have affected us losing. I don't think we would have, we would have lost this game had he not scored a hat trick. Um, in terms of Vinicius Junior, quite a quiet game from him today. Um, he, he still did quite a feel like the runs, the free balls, the passes. I'm gonna give him a seven. Um, Rodrigo didn't do that much, did he? I mean, apart from the shot that the the shot that which led to a goal. Um, afterwards, not quite much. I'm gonna give him a, a six. I think a six is fair. And then Benzema, I'm actually gonna give him a ten. Yeah, um, you must be like, if Asensio's hat trick doesn't affect the game, how does Benzema's two goals affect the game? It's probably for me not about who's got more, right? I don't care if Isco scores a hat trick. I mean, just an example, right? Um, or whoever scores a hat trick. The thing is, Benzema, two goals again, seven in six, two hundred goal, and I think he could go for the. Golden boot this season as well. I think. Tell me a player or name me a few players in the league that can fight with Benzema for that top goal score. Luis Suarez. Yeah, I think he's a potential. And I'm trying to think of someone else. I I, I remember missing someone else. Maybe the pie. I don't think so. That's how I feel like. But you know what I mean. That Benzema, I think, is mouse clear of the other players in the league in terms of attackers who are scoring real goals. So. Personally, for me, Benzema is the man of the match, in my opinion. In my opinion. And then the subs, Jovic, Vasquez, Isco, Blanco, and my man, Sergio Santos, right? A young lad from a Castilla who was on the bench, who came on as well. I didn't see, let, let's be honest, I'm going to give a five and a half, a, a, a plus half. To these because of a win. I didn't see Jovic, Vasquez, Blanco and Sergio Santos. I only saw Isco with the goal. And you know what? Let's give Isco 
a seven and a half because people say I underestimate it, I hate it. No, I don't. I genuinely don't. I just want it out of my club. Sometimes, yeah. Um, I think that East Coast, yes, a girl Scott, but I think eventually he will leave. I think. I think maybe in the January transfer window or next summer. I think. Yeah. Um. I think he will leave. I don't think there's a, there's a room. He he's gonna be on the bench for pretty much all the games. I don't think there's room for him. Right. Yes, he could play like often, oftenly, not really oftenly, but in certain like cup games and all sorts. But look at this: Valverde, Kamavinga, Modric, Casemiro, Cruz is coming back, or slowly coming coming back. Asensio can play there too, like he's shown his quality today. Um, we have Isco Plus. We've got Blanco there as well. We have got quite a few players who can play there. And reports say we are still interested in Paul Pogba. Um, it's a bit of a transfer for you. And transfers, apparently Juventus have joined, was it Inter and AC Milan for Asensio? So that's a one for you there as well. Um, at this way, I don't see Asensio leaving. Um, but I probably see Isco leaving, right? Um, so that's how it is, right? Um, yeah, but I see Isco leaving. Um, that was a good goal from him. Um, simple goal, but. I don't want to discredit him from the goal as well. So yeah, um, that's a that's a nice win. I woke up today, you know, feeling fresh, I guess, to a, a very nice six one win. I let's be honest, I didn't really realize we had a game today. Uh, when when I woke up, I was like, okay, time to get my day started. Of course, when you wake up, you don't just immediately have everything in your mind. Um, but after like maybe like ten minutes after waking up, I was like. Crap, I didn't record a Real Madrid preview. Um, and I remember last night that I had to, but I went to sleep as well. Um, so yeah, forgive me. Um, but we have got um, Villarreal on Sunday for May, which is... Wait, is that Sunday for... No, that's going to be Saturday for the UK people or people in Europe. I don't know when that is going to be for people like in America, in Canada, and all sorts, and even Mexico. But I know... Just I know is people in Australia, it's like seven a.m. <laughs> Crazy, and people in the UK probably around like eight p.m. Right, so that's a, a a good twelve hours difference between Australia and Europe. That's all I know. All right, but it's gonna be three a.m. for me, so I'm gonna record it right after. And I'm probably gonna get it out on Friday or even Saturday for you guys, depending when you guys see this video. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got. Um, let me know your ratings for the players i guess um and if you guys disagree let me know do not spam any hate or sorts in the comment section please do not um this is not be tolerated yeah um, i guess this is gonna be the end of, of that video right i mean it's an episode then don't know why it's an episode um but talking about episode my links to my other youtube channels and my twitch will be there we'll be playing a few of games too yeah um I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Hit the like button if you guys did. Subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already. And I'll see you guys for another one. Peace!